Alright, what's going on YouTube? We're back with another episode of our uh, Advanced RPG series for Unreal Engine 4, and uh, I know it's been a while. I'm sorry about that. I had to take a drink of water there. Um, and uh, it's been a while because just stuff and things, and I've been very, very tired lately and lazy and just not wanting to do very much. So, what today will be over is a, a super simple... Uh, setup of just being able to block with our shield. This won't obviously have any effect on how uh, how how much damage we'll take. Obviously, he doesn't deal damage yet. We haven't set that up. But uh, when when we set that up, we will incorporate uh, a a buff uh, per se, a, a, um, a kind of armor system that will make the shield either a take less damage or um, you know just take a little the whole um, brunt of the force, you know, from our guy. So, anyways, let's uh, let's get right into our character now. I I think I need to change some stuff back because I I am not on the right. Yeah, I'm not on the right stuff. So we're just gonna do um, the normal good old player controller uh, that it should be, um, and all of that. And then this will be our RPG, bro. So um, that, if we launch it up, should be good. Obviously, we won't be able to act, interact with our items, but it should be fine. So if I if I play, pop it up in a new window, we're good. Looks good. All right. Why are we getting big old collisions? Uh, I think I actually know why. Okay, so these these are giving us collisions, so we're going to delete them out of the world. And that is problem solved. So, um, now that we have just that, now that we know that uh, the uh, our, our RPG bro is our main character, because I had you know from last episode the inventory system which will be ported over very soon to our character um let's let's just get right into uh the the thing thing so if we go into player um i don't actually know uh we don't have an animation set in here do we oh crap i forgot where animation is uh okay it doesn't matter i'll just uh i'll open this up and uh mesh and go to there it was in the animation section of our rpg kit really really i don't know why i put it there that's that's weird anyways um so i already have some uh blocking animations there's several different animations um so i don't know exactly which one i'm gonna do so here's this block this is like oh i remember <laughs> so here's that's kind of fast so it takes it from the idle kind of to the blocking stance which is probably what we're gonna first use we'll use that first um probably uh so it looks better and then we'll take it into into this, which will be the idol. Um, so that's what it will look like. And and it won't be the be the most visually appeasing thing in first person. It'll be more realistic than anything. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. So excuse me. To start that off, I just want to get into the animation. Uh, blueprint and set that up and then we'll set everything else up in our character and then link the two together so uh, let's just go to our locomotion and here we will pull off um, right right now um, how about for now we just pull it off a of idle somewhere um, so we'll pull it off just perfectly right here and of course a new state called block um now i think what we're going to need to do is a couple of things um so if we do um 
so let's get block. Okay, so okay, so we're gonna need that and that. So here's our idle. Um, so can we do like a, a then? one right after the other? No. So what we're going to actually have to do is a sequence of animations. Um, so we're not going to want the idle here. Um, so we're going to want to just hook that up there. We won't add any bools yet since we haven't created them. But let's go back here. So we'll, I want to rename this to uh, block transition okay so that's the transition and then it will go back if we set it to something else obviously um, oh come on there we go alright so and then the transition will go to uh, block idle I don't know I'm, I'm having a tough time spelling idle man you guys can tell how tired I am from that apparently uh, or probably not apparently but probably could tell um, anyway so we'll hook that up there and oh my gosh OCDs drive me crazy but I just really don't care right now then of course we'll hit that back because what's gonna want to happen is uh, also we're going to uh, change our, um, our 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 walking because um, I think right because hold on yep oh no we don't need to change the walking we need to change the walking for our our character because I realized that's why that's why he um would just walk normally because there's no speed um it's it's not set up by speed it's set up by the, the activation so we'll set that up by the speed of, of what he's actually walking like it's a real character because uh, that's a better way to do that so we'll do that next time but um okay so we're good but we're gonna also want to be able to um make a, we're gonna want to make a, a a blend space for our 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 walking so this is actually going to be changed um because What's going to happen is we're also going to want to check if we're blocked because if we're if we're or if if we are using the blocking animation because if we're using the blocking animation uh, and we we have a, a, the blend uh, the blend space uh, for uh, while we're walking and blocking because <laughs> um, I believe that's there correct uh, oh it's not. Maybe it's not, because I thought there was. That's why we were going to do that. But um, I'll, I'll check if it is. But um, if it if it isn't, then, uh, you know, we don't have to worry about that. But uh, if it if it is there, then I definitely, definitely want to put that in there. Because, uh, gosh, I don't think it is in there. That really sucks. That really does suck. Because um, otherwise we would have to create another blend space and uh, ask this to check for um, both the speed and if we're blocking, and then it wouldn't pass through if we were still blocking. So, um, um, yeah. It would also stem off of this, and it would stem actually strictly off of this. Um, but yeah. Um, the same, we could add the blocking for everything else. Um, I think I'm going to add it for jog. And then that's about it. The crouch obviously will be its own uh, block because there is a crouch uh, block if you didn't see it. So that will be its own thing. Um, that I'm that will be the same process if you guys want to do that in your own time. But uh, I'm not gonna. I I'll do that, but not on a recording. So let's um, let's let's set this up with some bools. So let's go to our blueprint and then create a variable. So we're gonna check. Uh, um, blocking so and then we will transition from there if we are blocking and then 
then once once this is done it will go to that um right because also we're gonna to set oh blue set blocking Oh crap! How do we how do we do like a a start event? There's no events. Oh crap! I don't know how we do that then. Anyways, um, I think it should be fine. I think it will transition kind of smoothly on its own. Um, if we are blocking, and then of course, if we are not blocking, and then of course the same thing will go for here. I don't know why I did that. There we go. So, now that that's done, we'll just check it out. Looks great. Looks great. So, it does the transition. Then, of course, it keeps the idle, just like we want. Um, I really, I really want to get some better animations because that is driving me um, pretty much insane. And I think the way that we're gonna do that um, is, I'm, I'm, I, I, I know what I, because I, I saw it in here. I swear, I saw it in here. I swear. Um, oh crap! Maybe, maybe I didn't. I saw it somewhere where, uh, where, um. Oh yeah, I was in the constraints. I can lock the uh, position of the um, of this bone right here, which is the hips, right? And we want to lock its uh, whatever that rotation is. So that's at Y. So we don't want its Y going anywhere. Okay. Lock its Y position. And then, um, I don't even know what that crap means. A default. You know what? Just do it. Um, compile that. Then, I think, um,. Hey, there we go. So it's going to run the animations right, but now uh, we should also not get any forward movement. Oh, it's still doing that. Dang it. I thought I thought that I thought it would be locked. I thought it would be locked because of uh Wait. I don't know why he's trying to go to the left. That's weird. Um, I thought it would not move anywhere. But that's... That's cool. Simulate physics. Wait, okay. Uh, I think that will fix it. Oh, no. Don't listen to me. Never, never listen to me. Scratch that, always listen to me. Okay, so that's not working. I thought we would have that right because that's driving me crazy. That just like messes up the whole gist of like the coolness of the animations and everything. Just all of it. We're back to skeleton. Okay. But this is fine. So now we can go over here and run what we have to do here. So I my my blocking is just going to be normal right click. So you can this of course will work for whatever you are trying to do. Um, uh, whether it's like some other button like a V or B or whatever, just take everything I'm about to do and 
it'll just work with whatever input button you're using if you don't already know. All right, so we're going to want to cast to wait uh, RPG bro. What? Where's it? My where's my uh oh it's Paladian. Paladian. Okay, so we'll get we'll get the uh anim instance of that mesh. Um, we'll do the same thing for this. Right, right. Okay, so what this will do is we will get um or set no set blocking dupe that of course for down here because we're also going to want to make another variable I, I'm not going to connect that because I didn't want to actually connect it anyways we're going to create another variable called block just that's it's going to run our block Alright, um, and then so we can just in case you know because I'm sure there's going to be a point in time where we're going to want to check if we're blocking on just the character's side and not the actual um, side of the animation blueprint uh, so that is why we're going to always create a variable I at least always create a variable for everything okay so that works and I believe that's all we need for blocking and let's just try it out there we go so we can move around and stuff super non realistic but of course if we go to first person that just looks dope I mean the arm is a little in the way I might fix the camera a bit um, move the camera around just just a little bit do something but as you can see I'm as I'm running around or jumping I can't go into a blocking mode so you gotta block while you're standing still um, and it really sucks that we can can look into our body but uh, that's that's how we're gonna do blocking um, and then the that's that's of course the animation side of it the mechanic side of it I guess we will do in the next episode so now that we have the actual animation and the aesthetics down let's uh, stick around for the next episode so that way we can get the mechanics for it down and can be pretty much implemented into the system that we'll already have for uh, damage and whatever, which of course will evolve over the time of the series. So I really hope you guys did like this episode. Uh, if you did, you know, uh, like, rate, uh, comment, sub, subscribe, and uh, I will see all of you cool dudes who are sticking around for the uh, episode that I'm trying to put out. Uh, See you guys in the next one.